to a video that will show examples of solving for unknown values using the properties of perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle. So here we're given a triangle and this red line is the perpendicular bisector of this side of the triangle. Remember that that means that it's perpendicular to this side of the triangle and that it also bisects this side of the triangle. So right away we know that this angle must measure 90 degrees so we can determine the value of x by setting 2x plus 6 equal to 90. Let's go ahead and start by doing that. So we'll go ahead and subtract 6 on both sides. This would be 0. 90 minus 6 would be 84. Divide both sides by 2. So we know x has to equal 41. Now let's take a look at this side of the triangle. Since this red line is the perpendicular bisector, it cuts this side of the triangle into two congruent segments. So this segment here is congruent to this segment here. So if the total length of this segment is 46 inches, that means this segment here must be half that length, or 23 inches. And that's all we need to determine the value of y. We know that 3y minus 1 must equal 23. So we add 1 to both sides. We'll have 3y, that's 0, equals 24. Divide both sides by 3. Well, 24 divided by 3 equals 8. So we have y equals 8. Let's go ahead and check that. 3 times 8 would be 24 minus 1 would be 23, or 23 inches. Let's go and take a look at one more example. Again, we have a triangle, and this red line is a perpendicular bisector of this side of the triangle. Now this problem is kind of a special case because notice how this perpendicular bisector also passes through the vertex that's opposite the side the line bisects. And I don't know if you remember, but when you have a perpendicular bisector of a segment, any point on the perpendicular bisector is always the same distance to the endpoints of the segment. So that means that this side of the triangle must be congruent to this side of the triangle or that they're equal in length. So from here, it's pretty straightforward. 2x plus 1 must be equal to 45. So we'll subtract 1 on both sides. It'll give us 2x equals 44. Divide both sides by 2. So we have x equals 44 divided by 2 is equal to 22. And we can go ahead and check this. 2 times 22 is 44 plus 1 equals 45, which checks because we know these two sides have the same length. And that'll do it for this video. I hope you found these two examples helpful.